For our family summer vacation, we are going on a road trip through the state of Colorado. In this video, we are gonna show you some really fun things to do as a family in Colorado. First leg of our trip, we are headed to the Mesa Verde National Park. We made it here to Mesa Verde National Park. Our first stop is to see the Spruce Treehouse Overlook. What do you see down there? So here you can see one of the cliff dwellings right here in the side of the cliff. They've got all the little windows, all the little rooms. Pretty cool. Isaac, what do you got here? Um, uh, um, new backpack. You got a new backpack? Mm -hmm. You like it? Uh -huh. You're a good backpacker, huh? Uh -huh. I'm a good backpacker. You're a good backpacker. We're just going to be spending a little bit of time here at the Mesa Verde National Park. We had planned on spending more time, but both the Cliff Palace tour and the Longhouse tour are closed for construction. So we're just going to hit the highlights now. We are checking out the Spruce Treehouse right now. It is beautiful. Now we're going to get back in the car and we're going to do the Mesa Top Loop. One thing really cool about the Mesa Top Loop is it is in sequential order, meaning you are going to start at the earlier time period, about 500 AD, and end about 1200 AD. So you're gonna see the progression of the cliff palaces. The first stop is the pit house. <laughs> it's like a swimming pool. The next stop on our loop is the square tower house overlook. Madeline, what do you see? It's a house. So it says they carved like footholds in the sides of the cliff to be able to access their house. So they like rock climbing into their house every time. So here is the crown jewel of the park, the Cliff Palace. We are all done with the Mesa Verde National Park. It was incredible. Now we are on our way to the Treasure Falls. Okay, we made it here to Treasure Falls. It is an easy quarter mile hike up to the falls. It is a 200 foot elevation gain, but you get rewarded with this beautiful waterfall. This is such a fun, perfect little hike because it is right off of the road. We're heading to Alamosa tonight and it is just right along the way. Isaac, what do you got there? Um, try, um, um, walking stick. A walking stick? You have a walking stick? Mm -hmm. Does it help you? Mm -hmm. There are two trails to get up to the Treasure Falls, a primitive path and a main path. You're gonna wanna stick to the main path if you have kids like us. The primitive path is quicker, but it's a lot more steep and less maintained. What do you think, Carrie Ann? Um, really easy hike in the shade, nice and cool, and the reward is this beautiful waterfall. This hike is definitely doable with your little kids. It is day number two of our Colorado road trip adventure and we are headed to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Before you get to the sand dunes, you're gonna wanna stop here at the Oasis store. It is right along the way to the National Park. Here, you can rent a sandboard. We're gonna show you all the fun you can do with a sandboard at the park. <laughs> Okay, we made it here to the sand dunes. We stopped at the visitor center and grabbed a junior ranger book. 
Now we've made it here down to the sand dunes. The first thing that we're gonna do is go play in the sand and use these boards that we got. is good at it. Good job, Isaac. So are we having fun here? Yeah. You like it, Isaac? You like sledding? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. So there's two types of sled you can get. You can either get like a snowboard or a traditional sled. Unless you know how to snowboard, I say stick to the traditional sled. You'll have a lot more fun with your little kids. As far as the trick for doing the traditional sled, a guy taught this to us and it works pretty good. Sit as far forward as you can on the seat and then lean back and you'll go down pretty fast and pretty straight. We had a lot of fun on the sand dunes. We learned a couple of things. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to wear real shoes. We made the mistake of bringing some flip-flops. The sand gets hot, so your toes get hot, so it's better just to wear real shoes. Some people had socks on. Some people even had rain boots. So protect your feet from the hot. Another thing to do to protect your feet is to come earlier in the day. We kind of showed up a little bit later, mid-morning. Come early morning and the sand will be perfect. <laughs> After we got done playing in the sand, we went and changed our clothes. They have an area for changing your clothes here. And now we are relaxing at Madano Creek. The Madano Creek is a seasonal creek. It begins to run when the snow starts melting and continues through most of June. Right now it's the middle of June, it's low now, but the water is a perfect temperature. There are times of the year where you can raft down the river, but right now it's a little bit too late in the season to go rafting. I hear that the perfect time to come is over Memorial Day weekend. Because the creek cuts right next to the sand dunes, the creek is filled with sand. It is so soft on your feet. What are you making, Mom? I can't get over how beautiful of a place this is. You have this creek cutting right next to the sand dunes. It is a perfect place to spend the afternoon. Grab your swimsuits, bring your sand toys, grab a camping chair, and relax here in the shadows of the great sand dunes here at Madano Creek. You're gonna have a blast. It is day number three. We have arrived in Colorado Springs. We're gonna show you some really fun things to do in the area. This morning, we are headed to the Pikes Peak Cock Train. Okay. 
Okay, we made it. We are 14,000 feet up at the top of Pikes Peak. They call this America's Mountain because it inspired the song America the Beautiful. We had a really fun time riding the cog train up. We got to see marmot. That is something I had never seen before. And we also got to see bighorn sheep, something else we had never seen before. It was a lot of fun riding the cog train and taking in the beautiful scenery at the top of Pikes Peak. Okay, we finished up the Pikes Peak cog train. Now we are in the Garden of the Gods. The first thing that you're gonna to want to do when you get to the Garden of the Gods is stop by the visitor center. They have an amazing visitor center with a ton of exhibits and they have a really good video about the park. Stop by the visitor center, check out the exhibits, watch the video with your family. It'll make it a lot more fun when you're seeing all the things that you saw in the video here at the park. So now do you think you can fit through there? Wow. Good job, Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Now we are doing the beautiful, easy scenic Central Garden Loop. Whoa, check that out. Madeline, what do you think of this place? Well, I am really at a loss for words to describe this park. I know it's cliche, but honestly, you can understand why they call this place Garden of the Gods. It really defies words. So after we got done playing like little ants among the huge rock formations at the Garden of the Gods, we headed to Monitou Springs. There was this little park that our kids loved playing at. There was a band playing music in the background. We loved exploring the streets of the city and checking out all of the shops. We took a sip of one of the eight mineral springs in the city. Ah! And our kids' favorite part was checking out the Penny Arcades. It is day four now of our Colorado adventure, and we are at the Royal Gorge Bridge. The Royal Gorge Bridge is the highest bridge in the United States. It held the title of the world's highest bridge until 2001. It is super cool here. The view over the Arkansas River is spectacular. There's more to do at the Royal Gorge Bridge than just check out the bridge and the beautiful canyon. There's a ton of fun things to do here with your family. You can earn a Junior Ranger badge with your kids. They have a theater with live shows and a movie. They have this huge outdoor park with a carousel for your kids to play in. And they also have zip lines, a huge swing, and my kid's favorite, a gondola ride across the Royal Gorge. Do you want to ride on that? I like to on the gondola train. You want on the gondola train? Mm -hmm. Is it scary? Uh, no. No, you're brave, huh? Whoa, what do you guys think of this? Oh my goodness. Madeline, you remember the last time we took you on the, what was it, the uh, Ferris wheel? Remember when we took you on the Ferris wheel? <laughs> Madeline has gotten bra braver since then, right, Maddie? Oh, oh look, Eliza! Wow. Can you see over? Daddy, you want to see over here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Step away from the window. Isaac, come over here, Stay sit down. <laughs> what do you think, Isaac? I'm good. <laughs> you like the gondola ride, Eliza? Whoa. We didn't think that we would tell the story. Um, the gondola rides got shut down because of wind and lightning. 
and that was the reason we came so we were a little disappointed but once we got into our car we realized they opened them up again so we ran back as fast as we could and got our gondola ride you have a wonderful rest of your day Thanks. colorado springs was a lot of fun there is a lot more things that we could have done in the area but we are off on the road again for the final leg of our journey we are going to spend three days in the rocky mountain national park We made it to Rocky Mountain National Park for our first hike. We're going to do the easy, beautiful one mile hike around Sprague Lake. That's a good find. It's so big. It is. Isaac and I are a little bit behind his sisters. He sees things on the trail that other people do not see. What do you got in your hands, Isaac? Want to show me? Oh, you found another one? Show me what you got in your hands. Show me. Wow, that's a good find. It is our second day at the Rocky Mountain National Park. Today we are at Bear Lake. One thing you should know is that the parking lot to Bear Lake gets packed very quickly, but they have a shuttle that comes up here. I recommend taking the shuttle because if you come up here, odds are the parking lot is going to be full. Plus the shuttle will be a fun little trip for your kids to ride on. From Bear Lake, we are gonna go to Nymph Lake, then to Dream Lake, and then to Emerald Lake. Hey, Chipmunk. Is that Alvin, Simon, or Theodore? Alvin. Ah. So we made it to the first lake. Here we are at Nymph Lake. Look at the beautiful peaks right here above us. He likes you guys. I'm afraid he's going to jump to you. Is he fighting? Okay, bye, Alvin. <laughs> so Nymph Lake was like a picture. Now we are off to Dream Lake. Is that Theodore? That's yeah. Theodore. He's underneath that rock right there. Aww. Aww. Hey guys. Hey. Hi, Say bye Theodore. Bye Theodore. Bye Theodore. What do you see Isaac? You see a waterfall? What do you see, Isaac? What do you see? You see snow? So it is near the end of June now. There is still snow on the path. Just walking up the trail will keep your body pretty warm, but it's a good idea to bring a jacket just in case you get cold or if there is a rainstorm that comes along. Give me the snowball. Yeah, give you the snowball. Give you the snowball. Isaac, you have a snowball. Who are you going to throw it at? Kate. Kate. Okay, flip the camera. Ah! <laughs> We made it here to Dream Lake. It just keeps getting prettier the further along you go. I literally can't get over how beautiful this is with the peaks of the mountain reflecting here in the water. Now we are off to Emerald Lake.
sick. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Madeline, what did you find? A beaver. A beaver. Right there. Right there. What's the beaver's name? Bee Bee. Bee the beaver? Mm -hmm. What's the beaver sound? Hi. Hi. Okay, we made it to Emerald Lake. It is quite the trek to get up here all together. It is gonna be a 3.6 mile round trip. And coming up, you are definitely going up, but it is definitely worth the hike. It is so beautiful here. It is just so massive. It's hard to comprehend and take in the beauty of this place with the massive rock walls surrounding Emerald Lake. This is such a beautiful hike. For our last day in the Rocky Mountain National Park, we took a scenic drive up the Trail Ridge Road. We went up to a height of 12,183 feet. The drive was beautiful. The views were stunning. We capped off our journey with a visit to the highest visitor center in the National Park System, the Alpine Visitor Center. One thing that we didn't mention is that while we've been going to the Rocky Mountain National Park, we have been staying at the YMCA of the Rockies. We've had so much fun here, we decided to make a separate video all about it, which we'll link above if you want to watch it. Well, we had so much fun taking a family road trip through the state of Colorado. The state is absolutely beautiful. There is so many fun things to do and we only scratched the surface. Thanks so much for watching our video. Bye! Bye.